Okay, so the next term we're going to cover is day trader, swing trader, and scalper. So oftentimes people ask me, you know, should I be a day trader? Should I be a swing trader? Should I be a scalper? Um, it all depends on the individual and also it depends on your lifestyle and the time of free time you have um, and just what you prefer doing or, or maybe like me I don't really fit into one category I just look for setups so what type of trader you are depends on your life and what you like to look for um, but let's just talk about the individual types of traders so day traders Day trading refers to the practice of purchasing and selling securities within a single day. And you can read this full thing, but uh, day traders tend to use these strategies. You know, day traders use scalping strategies. We'll talk about scalping in, uh, in a minute. But scalping is taking small profits and sm small between small price changes. And also ranging. When price is ranging up and down, you know, they can, you know, trade the different resistance levels you know or um, or when there's like news events um, you know day traders will trade news events and you know I've talked to you guys about and I've had a lesson on news events and um, I don't recommend beginners trading news but definitely look at when news is coming out and just think hey if I was trading this how could I trade this? So I want you guys to actually, you know, practice like observing different types of traders. So there's day traders that do scalping, range trading. Range trading is when price is just fluctuating up and down. You know, you can just trade the different support levels and use trading. So let's just jump on the charts really quick. Um, so for day traders, I'm going to think they're going to use the hourly chart, right? Because there's 24 hours in a day. And let's just use this time and our date and price range tool. So, so right here, see how the EMA is crossed? Um, let's see how many hours this was. Um, one day. So I'm looking down in the box. So, so say, you know, this trader this is one day one hour so this is 25 hours let's just make it 24 hours so one day that could have been a trade right there so a day trader um, could have taken this trade here let's get the risk to reward tool so you know they could have maybe had a stop loss about here traded the EMA cross and closed out close to the end of the day and they would have made a 3.8x return. So 3x return per day, that's awesome. Almost 4, 4x a day, that's good money. So that's what day traders do, right? You know, that's one way, or like I said, you know, if you have your, um, your news event showing, let me delete this, let me bring up the news, show economic events. Um, show uh, so let me turn on the event breaks so let me just zoom in let me try to find some news event so here um, let me just zoom in so here, here was a, a news event right here, right? We had two news releases. They were, um, you know, orange, dark orange, so mid, mid volatility or, you know, they're not red, they're not high impact, but they're still a dark orange. So, you know, the, the day trader could have been interested in trading, you know, this trade right here. Um, where's my short tool? So right here. Right here, we had a, a EMA cross. We had, uh, why is this thing so goddamn big? So right here, we had an EMA cross. We had a news release right here. And 
no. Right there, so that could have been the trade. That could have been a news release trade. So based on this right here, there's an email cross, there's a news event. Um, they walked away with two and a half risk to reward. So they, you know, for every dollar they risked, they made two and a half dollars. That could have been, you know, a good trade. Let's see how, how much time that was. So that was, That was 10 hours, 10 hours. So there, that's an example of a day trader. So, you know, so they said, you know, you can change, you can trade news events. Let's get rid of this. It's showing too many events right now. So you can trade, you know, news events. They also talked about ranging. So ranging markets, you know, like right here, this is a ranging market. They could have identified, okay, we hit a bottom, we hit a top. Well, I'm going to trade this range right here. Oops, let me get the short tool. You know, this is what range trading is right there. So they see that it's in this, in this um, rectangle and they put a stop loss here. We see EMA cross. They could have just traded it down to the bottom of this previous low. Boom, 5x risk to reward. That's actually an amazing trade, 5x return on risk. So that's an example of trading um, ranging markets. And then let's go to the five minute chart. And this is, this is uh, you know, they also do, this is scalping trades. So, you know, like these are short term trades, right? So we could have, you know, maybe they traded this right here. This EMA cross, we had support on the EMA 200. You know, maybe they put a stop loss there. This was a 2.5 risk to reward, and you know they pocketed two and a half uh, times their money. So whatever the risk, two and a half times. Boom. This is what scalp trading is. And uh, let's see how long of a trade this was. This was uh, from here to. So about here, that was four hours and 10 minutes, right? So a short term trade. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the document. So day trading, we just talked about swing trading. We'll talk about next scalping. Let's just read it because I showed you example of scalping. Scalping in the Forex market involves Trading strategies, trading currencies based on a set of real-time analysis. The purpose of scalping is to make profit by buying and selling currencies and holding the position for a very short time and closing for small profits. So like I said, usually scalping, you'll do on the five minute chart, all of these little dips right here, boom, boom. You can just catch them, these little waves. This is what scalping is. And that's why I love the EMAs because Honestly, you can almost trade just by using EMAs and and EMAs, like I said before, I don't consider them a indicator. Some people are very dependent on indicators. Moving averages are just taking price and dividing it by uh, an, a, a set period in time. So, you know, just like when we have math tests, right? We get eight out of 10, that's an average, right? 80%. You know, it's the most basic math function. That's why I love averages because they're so powerful. Okay, so let's talk about uh, swing trading. Swing trading refers to medium term trading style that is used by Forex traders who try to profit from price swings. Swing traders identify a possible trend and hold the trade for a period of time, a minimum of two days to several weeks. And those trades are the money makers. So let's go to, let's look at the daily. Hit reset on the chart. So look at this trade. So here you could have, you know, we're on the daily chart. You could have saw that, hey, you know, price has been um, fairly resistive to this EMA 200 on the daily right here. Resistance, 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 resistance. Well, a day trader could have been selling all of these times that it came close here and dropped below the EMA, the orange is EMA 50. 
And here, right before, you know, the coronavirus pandemic hit, what was it? It's when things got out of control, things started to worry people in January, February. Well, the swing traders made a ton of money. And let's just check it out. What, what uh, amount of time was this? So this was 69 days, 69 days. And uh, let's check out the risk to reward. You know, they would have, you know, stop loss above this last high right here. We'll say about here. And let's see what the uh, reward was. So this was 11x trade, but 11x, um, it's pretty good money. And because it's the, it's the daily chart, you would have made a massive amount of money. And you could even made a tighter stop loss, but you get the point. Swing trading is all about a higher time frame catching the big wave before it, you know, here you see it cross and the trend changed. And that's why I love these, the EMA 8 and 18, because it just clearly shows you the trend change. You could have been a buyer right here and just, you know, for you guys who are studying, we should all be checking out the daily chart on a daily basis because it really shows us a lot of information. But, you know, right here is when we started, should have started looking for buys. We could have placed a buy here and you can see the EMA 8 and 18 did not cross. They did not cross again. We're still in a buy, even when we're all the way up here. This, you know, swing traders can made a crap ton of money here and then just cleaned up on the way up. And, you know, whatever type of trader you want to be, I honestly, uh, you know, you should always every week just, you know, just take a look at the monthly, the weekly and the daily. Just check out what you're seeing. Just look at the EMAs, you know, just I always say to have two charts. I have two charts. I have my, you know, my full blown three chart detailed analysis. You know, you guys all know how you trade. You see me trade on a daily basis. And then you have, I have my second chart, which is, you know, I still use a three chart setup, but it's just the EMAs. And, you know, it just really removes all the, uh, you know, your charts can get cluttered. So I like to have two charts. One is just nice and clean, clear, and you know, I can just look at the raw data. I can just look at the individual candles. The daily candles mean a lot, right? Like I taught you guys that, you know, in the higher time frame, yes, we still look at, you know, the EMAs, maybe it's approaching resistance here, but each individual candle, right? You know, these candles mean something. Right here, right here, we had a bullish engulfing off the EMA 50. Well, you know what? A big daily candle, bullish engulfing, you know, it was kind of in this little um, bullish rectangle. You know, when you see these things, just draw them out, right? Draw them out. We're not, we're not, you know, that's the thing I love about trading. All we're doing is drawing squares and, you know, highlighting circles. And it's just, I love this game. I just love it. Anyways, you could have seen a double bottom bullish engulfing off of the EMA 50, it's a daily candle, so it means a lot. There's a lot of data packed in the daily, and boom, we could have wrote it up all this way. So, you know, that's why I don't really try to define myself, whether I'm a, a day trader, a swing trader, or a scalper. I will take it all. I will take all the trades I can, <laughs> you know, but using good risk management and, um, you know, I want to have at least enough evidence to, um, you know, support why I'm taking the trade. So, okay. Hope you like that one. On to the next.